my channel welcome back to Krenaya's kitchen so today we're going to be cooking and making another salad y'all know me y'all know I love salads so hey let's get to cooking what's cooking good looking okay so the salad that I chose to cook this time is the market side right here this is the salad that I'm cooking this time market side premium romaine salad and it has romaine lettuce carrots and red cabbage so this is the salad that i decided to cook this time and um this time i'm doing shredded cheese i did not buy shredded cheese we ordered like 500 dollars worth of groceries and shredded cheese was in our carts i mean not our cart but it was in one of our bags so i was like okay i'm not complaining <laughs> Yeah, I'm most definitely not complaining. So today I'm gonna to be cutting up tomatoes for the salad. Tomato, purple onions, and green bell peppers. So I'm gonna cut that up and I'm gonna place it inside of the salad. Um, I'm not gonna cut it up on camera because that'll be just that'll be too much. Right now I am cooking eggs. I am boiling. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. I am boiling five eggs right now, as you can see. I am boiling five eggs. I also got my other eye on. I got it on low because um, I'm going to cook some chicken fajitas this time to go in my salad. Um, so I put some organic olive oil in the skillet. And I'm about to place the... Um, now that I got the olive oil in the skillet and it's heating up, I'm about to place the seasoned... So this isn't the chicken fajitas. This is actually the seasoned rotisserie chicken. So I'm gonna put um two bags. I have two bags by the way of two bags. I'm gonna put it in a oh I forgot to I'm gonna need this knife by the way to cut it. So I'm doing two bags because one bag is not enough. They only put like a little meat in there. So I always have to do two bags. So I'm doing two bags of seasoned rotisserie. And um, I'm about to get ready to cut up my bell peppers, onions, and my tomatoes in a little bit. So I got me a small bag over here so I could be able to throw away everything so I won't have to keep, you know, going this place, that place, blah, blah, blah. So but I'm going to cut my vegetables up in a little bit. Also, you guys, I'm going to also cook some chicken tenders to go on the side. I'm just going to cook like a few chicken tenders to go on the side, a few breaded chicken tenders to go on the side. So I'm just waiting on the deep fryer to get hot right now. And whenever the deep fryer gets hot, I'm going to drop these chicken tenders down and just cook them until they are well done. I'm going to go cook a few to go on the side. Like most times when I make a salad, I always cook these breaded chicken tenders. And I cut them up really fine. I place them inside of the salad. And I also do turkey meat. But this time, you guys, I'm not doing turkey meat. I always do turkey meat. But in the place of turkey meat, I'm going to be doing the rotisserie chicken this time. The seasoned rotisserie to go in the salad. So this is going to be very delicious. Yes. <laughs> and when I get done cooking my eggs, of course, I'm going to put some salt and pepper on there. I'm going to do that pink Himalayan salt. And I'm going to do the pepper, the black pepper. That's what I'm going to do. Also, I have some crispy red peppers. You guys, I learned whenever you are putting anything crispy, like croutons or crispy red peppers inside of the salad, always do it when you are done cooking everything. Because it ends up very, very soft every time. And I'd be so mad. Like, you can taste the seasoning in it, but it's just so soft. So, I'm just going to add this at the very, very, very last minute. So you won't see me put that in there and also with the croutons 
whenever I add the croutons, it just end up very soft and mushy. And I'm just like, I just hate this texture in my mouth. So I'm going to add it at the very last minute. So you're not going to see me put it in the salad because every time I put it in there early, it just end up very mushy. And it's just an awkward taste in my mouth. And I just really don't like it. So I'm just going to add it at the very last minute. I am going to put a little bit of black pepper inside of this salad. I already put the bag of salad in here, of course. And I put the the rest of the cheese that we had left. Because, um, like I said, we got that shredded cheese for free. And I just went on and put the rest of that in the salad. But, yeah, we most definitely didn't order that cheese. So, we got it for free. <laughs> So the deep fryer is ready, by the way. So because the deep fryer is ready, I'm going to go on and drop these chicken tenders and place them down in the deep fryer. These chicken tenders are very cold, by the way, very frozen. So the temperature is going to change. The temperature of this grease is going to go way down. And because the temperature of the grease is going to go way down, I'm going to have to pull the chicken tenders up and I'm going to have to wait till the deep fryer get back hot. I always have to do that with chicken tenders fries and it's ain't frozen basically. I put a little bit tap of McCormick lemon and pepper seasoning in the salad just a little bit, only a little bit. This is the way I'm supposed to record. Yeah, forgot. <laughs> so, and also, okay, so with this seasoned rotisserie, I'm going to add a little bit of McCormick crushed red peppers. McCormick crushed red peppers. You guys, do not add too much crushed red peppers to your meat because it's going to be very spicy. <laughs> you see right here, as you can see, the spicy crushed red pepper is very spicy. So you might not want to add that much to it. So I'm going to lift up the chicken tunnels because like I said, of course, the grease has gotten very cold. So when the grease get cold like that, you got to let the chicken tunnels up so the grease can get back hot. So we're going to put a little bit of, of lemon and pepper seasoning by McCormick in the rotisserie chicken. I'm going to cut it up and put it on medium high, by the way. I put it on medium high. And you guys, you have to remember with this, with this seasoned rotisserie chicken, it's already seasoned. So you don't add that much season to it at all because it already got a lot of sodium in it. So I'm going to check to see how much sodium does it have in it because I did two bags of seasoned rotisserie. So from the looks of it, it has 430 milligrams of sodium. So that's 860 milligrams of sodium in all. So that is a lot of, a lot of sodium, my friend. And with the salad toppings, I'm going to add that at the very last end. But I'm going to add this. I'm going to add like three or four teaspoons of it. But I'm going to add it at the very end simply because it is it's something that, that will get mushy and soft. So, now that I have added all of my seasonings to my... Well, I'm going to add a little bit of... I'm just gonna add like a dash, just a dash of garlic salt. Yeah, I'm gonna add like a dash of Laurie's garlic salt to the rotisserie chicken. Just a little small dash because like I said, it's already seasoned nicely and it already has 860 milligrams of sodium already. So you don't want to have to add all of that sodium to it when it already has 860 milligrams of sodium. So we got the eggs cooking. We got the rotisserie, the seasoned rotisserie cooking. I'm going to just stir it up a little bit. I'm going to put this over here. Rinse that off so I can be able to get the chicken tunnels out. I'm going to go rinse this off. Seasoned rotisserie chicken. I did two bags of seasoned rotisserie, and it's looking like I only did one bag. Yeah, so this is like very, very expensive, but they only put like a half a bag in there. If that, they probably put like 40 to 50 percent of product inside of it. So, this is two bags worth of seasoned rotisserie chicken, by the way. So, yes. 
that's pretty much all they give you but this is how the salad is looking so far it's looking nice looking lovely and i'm gonna add the cut up chicken tongues well i'm not gonna cut the chicken tongues up i'm just gonna leave the chicken tongues on the side i'm gonna add the croutons after everything is done i'm gonna add the croutons after everything's done i'm gonna add the crispy red peppers after everything's done so we can basically stay crispy and i'm gonna add the salad toppings of course after everything is done so and um I'm going to drop my chicken tunnels back down because my chicken tunnels is ready to get dropped back down. And I'm going to top my salad up for now. And I'm going to put my chicken tenders in the freezer. My chicken tenders in the freezer. So now I'm about to cut up my bell peppers, onions, and tomatoes. Now you guys, usually I do white onions or sweet onions. I would probably do purple onions periodically but because it is in the winter months you know things are getting cool we need purple onion purple onions are very 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 amazing um purple onions i know some people call them red onions but i call them purple onions purple onions are very amazing when i tell you purple onions are so essential to our health it is so essential especially in the winter months Purple onions have a million benefits, and those are facts. Purple onions have a million benefits. So, you guys, I basically pretty much already cleaned. Um, oh, I can hear my baby crying. <laughs> my baby is crying. I wonder what they are doing back there. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Well, he's not crying. He's just like going like a scream. He's just screaming a little bit. <laughs> So I'm going to cut up my bell peppers and onions. I'm going to show y'all the bell peppers and onions and the purple onions. I'm going to show y'all how it's looking basically after I cut it up. And you're going to pretty much see how it's looking. So after everything gets cooked and after everything gets cut up, I'll be right back to let you guys see how it's looking. So, And it's going to be looking very, very good. Hi you guys, I am back. So, as you can see, I have cut up the bell peppers, the onions, and the tomatoes. Right here, it looks amazing. Look at it, it looks amazing. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a little black pepper to the vegetables, of course. And then I'm going to show you guys again. So, now that I added some black pepper to it, I'm going to show you guys again. All right. So, I'm going to take these eggs. By the way, the eggs are done cooking. And the chicken tenders are done cooking also. Let me show you how the chicken tenders are looking. The chicken tenders are looking amazing. They are looking amazing, amazing, amazing. It's looking amazing. So, so now I'm going to take the vegetables and I'm going to pour it right in the, um, I'm going to pour it in the salad. all right so as you can see i have poured it in now now i'm just stirring it up i'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer i'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see me stir it up it's looking all nice and pretty as you can see i'm just stirring it up stirring up really nice and now I have to cut up the eggs. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah baby. Ooh. Ooh, it looks good, baby. Eat. Eat, that's right. Eat, eat. So, you guys, I was supposed to crack up the eggs. 
crack them open and then peel them really nice, really well. So I'm cracking up the eggs now and I'm peeling the eggs. It's coming out perfect. That's what I'm talking about. I love when my eggs peel perfectly. I get so happy on the inside. Now, when my eggs peel off all crazy, I get so mad. Like, when my eggs start to peel crazy, I, I get so mad. But they are peeling perfectly. They are turning out very perfectly, as you can see right here. So, I'm peeling my eggs. They are turning out perfectly. Yeah, when I tell you, when I peel eggs and they don't turn out perfect, I get so mad. Like, am I the only one? Am I the only one that, that gets very mad? When they peel yeah. eggs and it don't turn out personal. Like, am I the only one? So, I'm peeling the egg. Uh-uh, baby, get back your nasty hand. Now I got to rinse that egg back off. Get back, baby. And also, you guys, I'm going to add several pictures at the end of this video. I'm going to add several pictures at the end of this video so you can pretty much see how the salad is looking. Stop, baby. Leave us alone, please. Okay, so I'm going to put some black pepper on the eggs. And I'm also going to put some pink Himalayan salt on the eggs. You guys, I love pink Himalayan salt. I love pink uh, Himalayan salt on my popcorn stop. also. Yes, I, I love pink stop. Himalayan salt on everything, including my popcorn. I get the pink Himalayan popcorn from Walmart, and it tastes so amazing. Y'all, it's a hole in this egg. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a big hole in this egg. Get down, baby. Go on. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Love you. Okay, so now I'm going to cut up the eggs. And after I'm done cutting up the eggs, I'm going to show you pretty much how pretty much how the chicken fajitas turned out. And I'm going to show you again how the chicken tenders turned out also. It turned out very nice. Ah, baby. No, baby. No. You're not hungry because I just tried to feed you. I just tried to feed you, baby. You did not want to eat. So I know you're not hungry. My baby's not hungry. I just tried to get him a whole chicken tender. He put it on the floor and he did not want it. Then I tried to get him another chicken tender. My baby did not want that chicken tender. My baby didn't want that mess. So I'm going to show you chicken tenders again. They turned out so perfectly. I didn't cook them too hard. And I didn't cook them too soft. And also, this is the rotisserie seasoned chicken tenders. I mean, the rotisserie seasoned chicken. It turned out very lovely, very nice. I'm just going to add all of it inside of the bowl. And then once I add all of it inside of the bowl and, and incorporate it all, I'm going to take several pictures and leave it at the end of this video so you guys can see it. So, thank you so very much for watching my video to the very last end. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every single time I post.